Okay, so let's continue looking on some generators we have it. And next what we have it is a constant. So let's create one. And this is straightforward. We can open, we can see the height, we can apply. It's producing height. Again, notice this is height, it is display inside. The world machine using internally value from zero to one. So all it does its height is to display when you set in your preferences so you can modify it and visually kind of look approximately how much in meters will be. Again, you can change this inside the preferences, but it is a one or zero value for inside the world machine use. You sometimes want to use this maybe creating um, area and I was using the constants when I want to, for example, create um, canyon so that I create height and just drag and side create with layout lines we'll use this one that um, provide just generic number again it's have it our mask input and also it's have it provide output number so we can go ahead select connect and right here you can see our output this way so next what I want to look it is gradient let's open properties and gradient it's a similar to the number except now we have it with how much gradient we want to go okay, right here and also in which direction we want this gradient so you can see it's one of the best way to create a different type of slopes for your terrain so if we want to use generic remember you don't necessarily just need to use the one the slope combination maybe slope and Perlin, you can create a different effects. For example, if we take and connect this just even to the mask input, you notice right here, now we have a slope creating and it's creating with a mask. Beside that, you can use a different type of combiner if you want it and combine, not necessarily need to use it as a mask, but as using mask right here with slope we're just creating kind of interesting look effect going straight on our Perlin terrain. Okay, this is gradients. The next we're using radial. Similar things to gradient, only now we have a radius on the middle. And this is for provide round um, different type again diamond, square. If we want to just see, let's use Gaussian for now. Again, same things. I will use this if I want to create mountain. So right here you can see with combination with advanced perling and radial and set as a mask. Now we created our mountain. Okay, of course they, you can create any time, apply different shape and create like a volcano example. So if we're going kind of filter and for example, uh, maybe select a simple transformation. So we can apply this on the middle and create different type of the shape. Again, you remember how it says sometimes I want to use lock view so I can go inside and right here I can actually go and modify properties in creating a different type. Let's unlock view. Or how I said before, you can go and modify with the uh, curves. For example, I can go and create Here. And there you go, we're kind of creating a volcano, need a little bit more, but point of this on the middle we have that. So overall this is with the gradients. Okay, so let's next generator. We have it Voronai and Voronai personally I like this filter. Um, when working with Vu I used it quite a bit. This provides very interesting effect. So overall, when we go into properties, we can see the scale. 
and you can see it's got a very distinguished effect of course it's have a different um, scale size style type and most style it says F1 it's how many of them are overlaid or shifted inverted so it's have a different type of the effect For example right here this cell type it's most like used if you want to create this unique type of the terrain or it's can be based for any noise okay we also have a different type of the distance so the styles so it will apply with a round round overlap with a three types so you can see overlay two to one so the closest and um, different type overlay when I add or it's different type of boolean operation will apply it. okay again with the cell just fill up type okay the distance function it's called the measure this measure uh, normally the market measure to the largest one and alternative is just other type of the measurement how when they're creating between them so in some cases you can see it can be nice distance city created or other effect so we also have a different shapes which is provide additional variations and you can see it's kind of almost cycling run so we can take an adjusting moving so distortion that will um, enable us to provide additional effect to okay let me go select to not indicating additional effect when we start um, mixing so they don't look so round and equal and again distortion amount it's how many distortion applied and also in what directions we want it we also can use the randomized seed to change random or if you remember something you can type in and reuse this way okay and the nice things about Voronoi combination with um, example you can use the inverter and you can see now you have kind of like bulging almost effect so right here rocks and now think about this you can take this one let's decrease the scale so you preview before them okay, right here our scale and with apply this texturing and everything you can now create almost smaller rocks on a beach like it's the smooth rocks so this is based it's always when I look on some function I can see what is that simulate so in that case we can go and connect maybe to some other properties let's take Perlin create a water beach and take on the distance and we can use this one as a rocks round rocks by the water on the beach so we get actually use a little bit scale of them a small effect but again this is nice beginning base to do that so let me go ahead delete this one okay uh, next we have a color generating and this is just primarily used to generate different colors um, as an input if we need it for us okay and next we have it the file input if you have it professional version you will have it additional the tile file input option as well so in file input you can go ahead import different bitmap to use it example you can use a tear bt you can use different type of the even raw format of the image um, like for example if you have a high map or specific region this is what you're going to do you're going to import from here and reuse it you have it a load when we're going to and load our file we can refresh from the file if you modify image uh, while you're still working we can also um, have an absolute path for this with from in this the supply from the file we can after refresh on every build um, this is maybe useful if you think you will update your map which you used all the time and don't want constantly clicking on refresh from file you can use it interpret as RGB which is um, import the file that as bitmap if we check it you can flip 
the y-axis it is inversion think about this other ways okay next we have it also outside behavior which has allowed us to control device output that is outside world space and placement so we can uh, different type of edge and we have a blank repeat edge tile and mirror the edge of our image it's um, again it's self-explanatory but it's allowed us to repeat go over tile just create same and mirror it um, so the edge won't be just cut off and extend in all ways in edge blending it's how much one blend the edge with uh, between each other so one thing if it's too high values you will start losing some of the sharpness of details on the edges so this is just the you can um, don't recommend to go all the way it will go too far just find when you start adding images the right menu now we have a world placement it is where on our map we want to import that um, image of okay Orden so we set up we also have it um, step use it number click set and layout and we can position directly where you want it in your layout view mode so just helpful going to this way okay next we place from current it's where we like hitting we can also use the quick scaling just to adjust look on the eyes adjust uh, current so we're going to fit inside the current extension or create new extend from the file if we need also we have altitude scaling we're using a natural file we have a full range if we have a gray scale the white point will represent the top one and black the lowest and specific range if we want below so we can say um, the lowest points on this for example 120 meters and highest point from the map uh, was for example 250 meters so you can specify specific elevations this is just the um, take the values from the image from 0 to 1 and map it them inside the range that you specify again we will use it file input in our uh, tutorials when we will work on uh, take DM type of images um, and import and working with them inside the world machine.